A lot of people might say that what I'm talking about is foolish for a homeless man. It's not. Because every night I wake up and find my rights have been avoided, literally abused by some policeman, some policewoman, some lesbian, some gay man, some idiot in a community, some little child who's 12 who's out way too late because their parents aren't paying attention to them. When I lived in a community, there used to be a thing that came o'clock, the 10 o'clock news. Parents, do you know where your children are? Well, you better fucking know where your child is if you're legally liable for their little fucking attitudes and their behaviors because some parent could sue you to the fucking ground. I remember when I was on campus and there's this black dude running around in one of these little uh, hot rod cars like you'd see in a um, uh, uh, 4th of July parade that the Shriners often drove. And he was carrying a girl who was inebriated on his back. And I thought, good for you. You've got something right there, right behind you, a little bit of hash. But the button is, and then somebody on the front of his car and then with a, pulling a wagon with a girl and I'm like I said well congratulations you found a great way to meet girls but as an old man I have to tell you I'm a little bit worried about your liability after that he never did it again because I said you know a parent can sue your ass if she falls out of that thing even though she's drunk and enjoying herself now that's what we're talking about we're talking about rights but we're talking about common sense that if you do something that harms another person you can be legally sued you can also be lethally gone after by anyone who's in the mood to say enough I've had enough of your shit. Now, in America, you don't have the right to take a life. That's called murder. Underneath the Bible, underneath the Quran, underneath the, probably the Vedas, which I haven't had the chance to read because every fucking person who tells me, no, I'm Hindi, I'm like, well, give me a fucking copy of your book if you're Hindi. Evangelize me. But they don't seem to do that. Now, next thing I'll know, I'll have some fucking Indian coming up trying to give me a Hindi book. That's great. I'd like to read the Vedas. I really would. But I've also read Buddhism, I've read Zoeterism a little bit, and God knows he doesn't like that much. But openly, if you're a Muslim and you're fucking somebody like me, you're fucked. I didn't ask you to touch me ever in this lifetime. And I didn't give you any permission over my medications, my med medical administration, or my mental health administration. But somebody fucking put you in our houses, and that makes me ill. Now, I have a right to have an opinion. Does that mean that that person doesn't have the right to try to put themselves into America? No. But if they came here illegally, then they don't have the right to be here. That's an evasion of our rights. So you see, our food, our gas, our natural product, our free air, our clean air that we're fighting to keep, doesn't belong to another nation. 